with Florida still reeling from Hurricane Helene. Yet another threat is on the way. Hurricane Milton rapidly intensifying and is expected to make landfall on the state's Gulf Coast by midweek. Sand and debris still covering streets and sidewalks in many Florida cities. Helene's path of destruction visible almost everywhere you look. The death toll from Helene, 227 people across six southeastern states. And with Milton approaching, officials already have issued evacuation orders for parts of Tampa Bay. The storm's likely first stop. People are piling up sandbags. Governor Ron DeSantis has declared a state of emergency for 35 Florida counties and had these words of warning for residents tonight. Anybody on the west coast of Florida, up and down the Florida Peninsula, uh, you have potential for major impacts, including really, really significant storm surge. Current estimates are that it has the potential to be a major hurricane when it makes landfall in the middle of the week. Yesterday Just I signed exactly. not the news they wanted to hear down there. Let's get to the meteorologist Mary Kay Kleist. She's here with the first check of the first alert forecast and tracking Milton's path as well. Hi, Mary Kay. Hi, Chris. We've been watching this all day. Hurricane Hunters in and out of Milton. Rapid intensification has been taking place these last several hours of today. What we're talking about, circle it here, as it starts to drift eastward only at 7 miles per hour, but the forward speed is expected to pick up. An unusual pattern for a tropical system that's developing down here for it to hook actually to the right, and that's what the National Hurricane Center expects. So, Hurricane Hunters went in. They are saying that it has intensified and they're starting to see evidence of an eye starting to form right in the center of the circulation. For now, Milton is small in size, but expected to grow in size right before landfall. So let's talk about that track. Here's the official track just in from the National Hurricane Center, bringing it now to a category four on Tuesday with winds to 145 miles per hour. A couple of questions with that. Will it brush the Yucatan Peninsula? Would that help break it down a little bit? Or the thinking is the warm waters of the Gulf, the upper level winds are so light that it would intensify as it sits offshore from the Tampa Bay area as a category four, making landfall somewhere between Cedar Key and Naples. You can't really look at the exact center of the track because the cone is what we watch for. Chris, I think the hardest thing is when you think of Pinellas County hit so hard with that storm surge from Helene, they're being told to evacuate and yeah. they must for a system like this. They don't even have a car to get out of town. Boy, that puts it in perspective. A brutal week ahead. We'll be tracking it every mm -hmm. step of the way. Mary Kay, thanks.